Alright, hello, welcome back to episode 22 of Ottoman Domination. We're playing as the Ottomans in EU4 with the 1.35 Ottoman update and the Domination DLC. We are working our way through the Ottoman mission tree. We have pushed our way down into Ethiopia and the Horn of Africa now, as well as pushed our influence all the way across the northern coast of Africa into Iberia, into Persia. We are going to work our way into Transoxiana at some point as well once we get some reconquest going on here but our next goal is to push up and in to the commonwealth and reconquer cores for the couple subjects we released in our last war um economical matters uh war economy yearly inflation reduction Mercantilist approach. Curtail the burgers. Or empower the burgers. Let's go ahead and empower the burgers. Just give ourselves some more trade. And we're waiting for all of our uh, armies to make their way north. With the exception of this one that we're leaving behind in case any rebels crop up. We are in the process of annexing Yao and Naples, which will give us a uh, strong foothold in Italy, as well as uh, a little bit bigger name, I'm assuming, once uh, we get Yao annexed. And uh, we can go ahead and get you guys a general. Um, South Atlantic from Songhai. I don't need the prestige, so I'm not going to do it. And let's go ahead and do... Do you guys not have any cores? They don't. What are you doing? We're going to need to annex these guys soon, then. Let's start improving relations with them. I didn't realize they didn't have any cores. I mean, I feel like they would have a lot of claims... Maybe I should just go for the claims then. Instead of the reconquest. Yeah, that's what we'll do. That sounds like a plan. Because we're going to be getting cores for uh, Prussia anyway. So Move up onto their capital. And then... We'll just kind of go out from there. Uh, they're not very strong because they obviously will A, have no forts active. And B, they're just... Yeah, they just seem pretty... Uh, like they're struggling quite a bit. We'll go ahead and build up some more courthouses while we can. Uh, we can build up more workshops just to keep boosting up our income. Every little bit helps. Um, hopefully our subjects will go ahead and deal with some of the messes going on over here. Uh, there goes our Maliki Scholars. I don't know if we can get anybody now. Yeah, we can still get these guys, so we'll keep getting them. I probably should have seized land. Equilibrium is currently, what, 46? Oh, jeez. Alright, well, uh... you immediately attack those rebels? No. Uh, let's get you a general, and uh, let's just tell you to suppress rebels in this whole region. And then hopefully you'll just automatically do it, and we won't need to worry about it at all. There we go. Might not do it in the most efficient manner, but they will get it done nonetheless. Nonetheless. 
get you over there. You can get up onto here. And then you guys, just please autonomously siege the northern areas. Uh, you autonomously siege... Kind of like that area, and then you autonomously siege what's left. Did France intervene? Or were they allied and I didn't realize? They're allied and I didn't realize. Interesting. Okay. Uh, let's get you a general. And uh, can you get up onto Paris? No. How about you get up here? And you also need a general. And how about you get up onto... Let's send you up here. You can land and then deal your damage. Gotta blow the walls. I did not consider their allies at all when I when I did the uh, war deck. Next, Yao. And this army is kind of chilling right here, and that's actually fine by me. We're over force limits, so no real reason to push that any higher. down to this army and oh they are piling in so you can retreat um we'll send you both over this way we have siege down Anjou siege down Chart uh you yeah you siege here you work on this Blow the walls. Blow the walls here. Because as soon as we can get Paris down, we'll be in a much better spot. Right, you guys, I'm just going to tell you to autonomously... Siege on this side of their territory. Okay, there's a big win that say they took down Naples? They did. Okay. Uh, head up to here then. Get on to Paris. Below the walls in Paris. Below the walls here. Hopefully that'll be enough to get them out of the war. I think that will be. That's going to be pretty close. There's a pretty big win there. We need a new military advisor, so... We'll actually go with the manpower guy, because we're running a little low on manpower. They took Warsaw back.
Oh, they jumped on that army. Keep moving towards legalism. Uh, go ahead and blow the walls there if you can. You can't. Can you get up here and just deal with this army? Okay, there's the Siege of Paris. Okay, the French are becoming quite annoying, so... Let's at least do what we can to get them out of this war. We will come back for you later. I'll bring you back down here as well. And they should be... Uh, a little significantly more willing to piece out to our demands. We're just going to have to deal with their army. You just need to get down there and recover a half price Turkish Coptic manpower guy. I don't think we'll use him. We'll go for this instead. Another monument. We can build it up. And below the walls there. Let's make sure you guys have a general. And make sure you're standing where you need to be standing. Of course they took back Warsaw. Make your way over here. We need a little bit of support. And then honestly, let me see what I can do. By giving Kiev their cores back. And then get in Galicia, Volhynia. At least a couple of their provinces they got claims on for me. Oh man, they just are really not willing. Without occupying any forts in the area, I guess. Because they took back Warsaw. Okay, that's good enough. Our manpower pull's too low. I shouldn't have uh, declared that war. Although I also wasn't thinking about their allies. I forgot they were allied to France. That was kind of the biggest reason why I was being a little more um, hesitant with that. Uh, we'll take a stab loss. That's fine. We can make that work. Uh, we can just boost it right back up. Uh, these guys, we need to influence them, get them a little more in a good spot. 
National tax modifier and ship costs. Sure. Uh, we can go ahead and seize Crownland. And then what about... Building up some more courthouses as well as more of that, more workshops. Um, all of this land down here, let's just go ahead and add it all into trade companies. And continue to make sure we're doing ourselves um, good on that front. Well, we got ourselves another trader, so um, yeah, we'll have you transfer out of here. That's a little more ducats flowing my way. What is our current... Uh, we got a lot of governing cap left over, actually, so... We can state up a lot of these provinces in... Hungary that we took. Oh, and over here, we should be adding all of this to trade companies. And that gets us a little bit over our governing capacity, but it's not that big of a deal. It also gets us a couple more merchants. Uh, so I guess we will continue to push um, the Indian trade into our region. That's the independent army that's totally wiped out. Uh, we're just going to get rid of them then. And we basically need to let our manpower pull recover for a little while. So we can get that all taken care of in due time. Uh, Rise of Promising Janissary. I'll just take the military points. Going to build up some churches for a little bit of tax meta. Let's see, I can annex you guys, so let's get that taken care of. Ivory. We could take Diplo Tech now, but um, we're currently losing Diplo points, so let's hold off on that for a little bit longer. Truce with Aragon and the Papal States has ended, but they are no longer coalition risks, so we're good there. Uh, there is a new ruler of the Holy Roman Empire. We're going to lose manpower for no reason. Thank you so much for taking the one resource we are really short on at the moment. And I can't even use slacking recruiting standards to uh, the effect we used to. So instead, 
Let's go ahead and do some tax dev exploiting that we can use to raise our um, just raise up our strength overall. We can build buildings and uh, continue to grow that way, and we'll spend some mill points on deving. I should see if my uh, mod that extends my uh, screens here has been updated for the new DLCs. Because I definitely miss it. Alright, um, so none of that. Can't build those yet. Yeah, we'll build up some workshops. In fact, I'm just going to build all of the workshops. Alright. I barely even lowered our income. We actually got more income out of it that way. Oh, and then we need to spend mill points for devving, so... Alright, plenty there. Uh, we do need to come back here and turn this back to a uh, Protect Trade Edict. I'm just net us a little bit more income. And then, uh, yeah, the rest of the way we're just waiting for Naples to annex and for Galicia Bohemia to annex. of Almaca moved from Castile Brazil okay that's fine all right so we need to get a couple more of these guys annexed I do not need the prestige, so we won't do it. Spend some money on our um, merchants. There is another region siege down by us. And uh, we have maxed out our admin points, so... So, we've almost annexed those guys too. Is there anyone else we can annex while we're at it? Hausen, 1610, November 8th. Yeah, let's annex them while we've uh, got the opportunity. And am I improving with my uh, subjects? I am. Let's boost that one more time. And uh, let's go ahead and re-rival the Commonwealth. We're about to get Naples Annex too. And there goes our truce with Transoxiana. They're going to be someone we're going to want to get to war with. Because... Um, We do need their provinces, so I will send my troops to get ready. We can do a reconquest war against them, get some of our uh, provinces back for our subjects. Decentralizing effect on the provincial system. I'm just going to take the uh, stability hit because I can buy that right back. 
Diplomatic insult from Austria. We'll just um, try to ease the tension. We've annexed Naples. So they can uh, send units over here as well. And uh, we got a lot of money built up, so let's build a lot of courthouses. And we can even build a lot of these guys. I'm going to build them in provinces where they have weaker trade goods or trade goods that give it a bonus. It's a gold province, so why not? Wool province is not a big deal. Another gold province is not a big deal. Paper works. So we'll let all that stuff build up. That'll help us out in the long run. And we'll let our troops move over. And then we can combine these armies and make sure they have a general and send them over as well. And we'll go ahead and add all these provinces to trade companies. And then we can also make sure that we are upgrading any ports that could be used in our future expansion or in our in our trade economy. All right, so a lot of these guys are almost over there. We'll end the video here. It's a little bit shorter, but uh, I think this is a good place to end because we're about to go to an, a war over here. And probably a war with the Great Horde, too. So, um, if you're liking the series, I'd appreciate a like. If you're really liking it, I would appreciate a subscription. And I really hope to see you in the next one. Thank you very much for watching. Goodbye.